In today's activity, lesson 8-4, graphing f of x equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k, we're going to take a look at what the h and k would do to a function. So let's take a look at our first learning target. Let's graph this. Well, we're going to compare all of these to our parent function of x squared. When we have an equation written in this form, what this h does is move it to the left or right. So if h is greater than zero, we're gonna move to the right. If h is less than zero, we're gonna move to the left. So let's take a look. So when we graph this, we're gonna to wanna to compare this to f of x equals x squared. Now, the first thing we're going to do here is graph the axis of symmetry because h is negative 2. Why is it negative 2? Think about it because our parent function here is minus h, so we're looking at the opposite. So if this is plus 2, h is negative 2. So we're going to graph x equals negative 2. So here is our axis of symmetry. x equals negative 2. Now let's plot the vertex. Because h equals negative 2, we're going to plot negative 2, 0. So here is our vertex. Find and plot two more points in the graph. Choose two x values less than the x coordinate of the vertex. Then find g of x for the x value. So when x equals 0, that means we have y equals 1 half times the quantity 0 plus 2 squared. So y equals 1 half 2 squared. So we end up with 2 squared is 4. Half of 4 is 2. So y equals 2, so that means our point here is 0, 2. So 0, 2. Now when x equals 2, so y equals 1 half, 2 plus 2 squared. So y equals half of 4 squared. So 4 squared is 16, half of 16 is 8. So my value here is 2, 8. I'm going to find 2 and 8. Now, reflect these points. So remember I said you need five points to graph. Well, if this is the axis of symmetry, that means if this is one spot over, I should say actually two, so two, four. Now I have my graph. So reflect the points, which we did. Now draw So this here was g of x. Now for my answer here, I need to compare it to the graph of x squared, which is one thing I didn't graph. So I've got my graph here. So there's my axis of, or my axis of symmetry and my vertex. So let's see, we've got 2, 4, 4, 16, So here's my f of x equals x squared. So how are we going to compare these? So the graph of g of x is a translation two units left and a vertical shrink of one half of the graph of f of x. Okay, now it is your turn. Go ahead and hit pause, do your work, and check it when we're done.
Okay, now let's look at what happens when we add k, kind of like our constant or would be our c. So there's a big hint there. So when we add h, so if you remember, when we add k, h moves it this way, k is gonna move it this way. So if I take a look, I wanna graph negative three times the quantity x plus two squared plus two. Compare the graph to f of x squared. So let's take a look. Because h equals negative two, we're gonna graph x equals negative two. Let's plot the vertex because h equals negative two and, and I apologize for leaving this off the notes, k equals two, our vertex is gonna be negative two, two. So this is h and this is k right up here. So that means our vertex is at negative two, two. Next, I want to find two more points on the graph. So two, two x values here. So this should actually be an x. So let's see, let's do negative four and negative three. So when I plug that in, I end up with negative 10 and negative one. So let's see, I've got negative four, negative 10, negative three, and negative one. Now, I need to reflect those points equal distance apart. So here is my new graph, which is g of x. Now, I wanna make sure that I also plot, because I'm comparing it to f of x, I've got one, one, two, four. So here's my f of x. So my answer here, the graph of G is a vertical stretch by a factor of three, a reflection in the x-axis, and a translation to units left and two units up of f of x. Now there's not a specific order that you need this in, so you could even say the graph of g is a reflection in the x-axis, a vertical stretch. So as long as you include all three of these parts, you're all set. So let's take a look at example four here. Consider this function and then graph f of x where g times the quantity x minus four. So what happens now if we have x minus four? The function of f is in the form of y equals g times the quantity x minus h, where h equals four. Remember it is the opposite. The graph of h I'm sorry, the graph of F is a horizontal translation four units right of the graph of G. To graph F, add four from the X coordinates on the graph of G. So pause the video for a minute and graph your graph from example three. Now that we have our g of x, we're going to shift everything four units to the right. So let's see, I've got four, so that's two, four, two, eight, 
four, two, four, two, four. So here is my f of x, where I have g x minus four. Go ahead and pause the video, and it is now your turn to do two and three. When you're done, hit play to see how you did. Example five, water fountains are usually designed to give a specific visual effect. For example, the water fountain shown consists of streams of water that are shaped like parabolas. Notice how the streams are designed to hold or are designed to land on what the water, underwater spotlights. All right, example five, water fountains are usually designed to give a specific visual effect. For example, the water fountain shown consists of streams of water that are shaped like parabolas. Notice how the streams are designed to land on the underwater spotlight. Write and graph a quadratic function that models the path of the stream of water with a maximum height of four feet, represented by a vertex of three, four, landing on a spotlight six feet from the water jet, represented by six, zero. So here's what we can do. So we're going to use the vertex form, the vertex 3, 4, and the point 6, 0 to find the value of A. So what in the world does that mean? Well, if you recall, our vertex is H, K. This point is simply X, Y. So now we're going to go ahead and plug and chug and figure out our equation. So we know that F of X equals A. So we've got this formula. And what do we have? All this information but A. Remember, f of x is really our y value. So we've got 0 equals a. So there's my y. Here's my x. 6 minus h, which is 3, plus 4, which is k. So all I have done is replace the variables with what I know. So now I'm going to go ahead and solve. So now I have my equation. So I have f of x equals negative 4 ninths. And I can fill in the rest here. Next, I will need to graph. So I've got my vertex, which is going to be at 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then my next point is at 6, 0. Here's my axis of symmetry. So I know this is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So now that I have my points, my axis of symmetry, I can go ahead and graph. And since it stops at 0, here's my graph. 